Okay, last video we left off with writing the electron configuration for chlorine, and so we've been doing the box and arrow notations. Um, here you can see it's 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5, uh, and those added up to our 17 electrons. So now we're going to look at the spectropic notation, which we've been doing kind of along the way also. Um, it's pretty much just writing our notations without these boxes. So with the boxes, a lot of times you don't see the subscripts, doesn't matter to me if you write them or not, um, but the electrons are shown here with the arrows. Spectropic, we don't have the boxes and arrows, and so everything is shown just with our notation here. So if we take that um, chlorine, again, 17 electrons, we would write it just like this. Okay. So what I would like to do is walk through the steps here and then go through a little bit more difficult one and get into the D section a little bit more. Um, so we're going to look at how many electrons we need. Typically we're just going to look at the periodic table, look at our atomic number, electrons and protons should be equal and that will give us our number uh, for that. So this time we're going to look at, oh I don't know, let's look at um, vanadium. Okay. So we look here, it's number 23, so that means we need 23 electrons. Okay. Um, so we're going to follow that off ball rule again, always starting at the lowest level. So we're going to write our 1s2 from the first row here on the periodic table, then we move to 2s2, and then 2p6, that fills up our, our second energy level. Then we're moving to the third energy level, third row, 3s2 over to 3p6, 3s2, 3p6, and then we get into 4s2. Okay. We fill potassium and calcium, and then again remember that this is the 3d. Okay, It's off of a row, but it's still the three, uh, third energy level. So if we're going to go over to vanadium, we would be 3D1, 2, 3, and that's where this one would stop, Okay, 3D3. So after 4S, we always go uh, to 3D. In this case, we're in the second column, or excuse me, third column, so that's where we would stop. Now if we're going to do something more difficult like tungsten, which is 74, my favorite element by the way, Okay, we would start at the lowest energy level again, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. You just should start seeing that there's a pattern here each time we start exactly the same way. So if I'm doing an element that's further on in the periodic table than what I just did, I can write exactly the same things to start with. Now when we get to 3d, remember there's 10 boxes here, so if we're going to fill all the way across, we would write 3d10. Then we get to the 4p. There's six there. So again, 4p is going to be right here, 4p6. And then we move it down here to the 5s. And I'm going to run out of room here, so I'm just going to start here, 5s2. And then after 5s, we start looking here, 38, we go to 39. So now we're on the 4d, and we would fill that all the way up. So we'd have 4d10. And then we make it over to the 5d, or excuse me, 5p. 6, and then we come over here to the 6s, okay? So again, we did 5s, 4d, 6, 5p, okay, so there's 6 of those. Then we come down here to 6s. Now we're at 56, so we then need to go to number 57, okay? 57 takes us down here to lanthanum. This is the F section down here. F section starts with 4f, and this row is 5f. So we take 57, and there's 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, okay? Right here is 4F14. This one fits into this empty spot right here, okay? So this starts with our 5D. So we would write our 4F14. This is the easiest one to forget, but again, remember when you guys are doing these, you follow your atomic numbers. Look for 56, 57 is down here, you write 4F14, you go to 58, which fits right here, or excuse me, 71, which fits right here, and then this starts our 5D. So we're at 5D1, 2, 3, and 5D4 is where this electron configuration would end. Okay. So obviously we don't want to do a lot of these long ones, but you do need to understand when you get down here to 6s, how to follow these um, numbers, atomic numbers correctly, and write your 4f's. Remember, d's are always one energy level less than the row they're in, f's are actually two energies less. Okay. 
So that's how you do spectropic notation for some of those longer electron configurations.